On Android, being able to customize the look and feel is one of the key reasons why many people choose to use that operating system. Installing a new launcher is an excellent way to customize your phone with minimal effort. There are several great launchers to choose from that can change the look of the home screen and app grid, along with many other customization options to suit your needs. One I've been testing out for the past month is Microsoft Launcher. I'll share with you the key features that I like, go over some of the settings, and let you know if it's any good. Coming up on Tech Gumbo. To install the Microsoft Launcher, it can be found on the Google Play Store. It's completely free with no in-app purchases. So far, the reviews are positive. With more than half a million reviews, its combined score is a 4.6 out of 5. If you're the cynical type, you're probably thinking that most of these reviews can't be real. After all, these are reviews of a Microsoft product, and many people just love to trash Microsoft. So let's dive right in and take a look at this launcher in action. To make it easier for you all to see, I'm casting my phone screen to a PC. The phone I'm using is the Pixel 2 XL. If you use another phone, certain settings that I will show you may be in a different location. Currently, the Windows launcher is activated. To switch between your launchers, go to Settings, Apps and Notifications. At the bottom, select Advanced. Default Apps, then select Home App to choose which launcher that you want active on your phone. Now we're back on the home screen. If you used earlier iterations of the Microsoft Launcher, they no longer have live tiles that were similar to what was found on Windows phones. As you can see, I prefer a somewhat organized, minimalistic setup on my pages with their time and weather widget near the top. Swiping to the far left, you'll find a feed page that is similar to what can be found on Android with news and other stuff. It's a cool looking layout that Android should adopt. Selecting the menu icon in the top right of any card and selecting Customize Feed gives you the option to show or hide other cards that can be shown on the feed page. Here at the top of any page is the search bar. Bing is the default search engine. There's a barcode and QR scanner. To the right of that, if you press the microphone icon, you can access Microsoft's virtual assistant Cortana. Are you better than Google Assistant? I think we're both pretty clever. If you prefer Google Assistant, you can still hold down the home button to access it. Are you better than Cortana? Full respect, being an assistant isn't easy. To quickly access apps not visible on your screen, selecting the App Drawer button will get you to other apps installed on your device. Currently, it's in a vertical layout. If you select the menu icon, you can switch this to a horizontal layout. If you long press on any app, you can access shortcuts for that app. Selecting the X will remove that app from your page. Tapping the edit icon allows you to change the name of the app and choose a new icon. The icon pack I'm using for all my apps right now is Viral. Another one of my favorites is Delta. Both are available in the Google Play Store. You can easily switch them over by selecting any of those that are available. I'll leave it on the viral icon. When you're finished, select Done. Long pressing on an empty area of your screen, you can quickly look at all of your pages, add widgets. This time and weather widget is the one I'm using on my pages. There's a shortcut to the wallpaper settings, and you can give feedback. Let's jump into the launcher settings and I'll show you which settings that I use that you can change to suit your needs. Here you'll find accounts related to Microsoft and Backup and Restore, which uses OneDrive. In Personalization, there are several settings that can change the overall look. In Wallpaper, you could select a wallpaper with many to choose from, or you could set up a wallpaper rotation, my source is Bing Wallpaper, with Bing Daily Wallpaper turned on. Let's head back on out. In theme, I have mine set to transparent. Other choices are light or dark. You can also change the opacity, blur, and accent color. In app folders, you can change the look of the folders on your pages. In home screen, most of these are self-explanatory. Selecting customized app icons and layout 
gives you the choice to change the columns and rows, the size of the app icons, and at the very bottom of this page is the most useful choice of them all. If you have icon packs installed on your phone, they'll be listed here to easily switch all of your app icons to your desired icon pack. I'm going to leave mine on viral. When finished making your selections, select done and head back on out to the personalization screen. I'll skip over these other settings. If you have an older phone, it might be best for you to turn on high performance mode for a smoother experience. That's about all I wanted to show you in settings, so let's go back to the home screen. If you want more of a Microsoft experience while using their launcher, they do have several apps available in the Google Play Store, including Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and many others. So is the Microsoft Launcher any good? My answer is yes, it's very good. I would even go as far to say that it's one of the best launchers for Android. It's shown a lot of improvement in a very short time. But if you're the type that's into having a lot of customization options, other launchers, including Nova, would probably be better suited for you. Hopefully in time, Microsoft adds more customization options to their launcher. If you haven't used Microsoft Launcher yet, it's worth checking out. What's your opinion? Do you think Microsoft has created a good launcher for Android and would you use it? Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. Subscribe and tap on the bell notification icon for more tech related stuff from Tech Gumbo.